In this series, I'm gonna show you how to build a website using Jackal. What's up guys? Before we get started on the project, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it and give you some background information on what Jekyll is. Jekyll is a static site generator that gives you the ability to create a static website by using dynamic content like templates, partials, liquid code, and more. It is blog aware, which is great because a blog is one of the features on the website that we're gonna be building. Jekyll is also what powers GitHub pages, which is great because that will allow us to host our site there for free. The website that we're going to be building is my personal website. My current website is pretty outdated, so I've spent the last month or so rebranding myself. I have most of the website designed, so let's go take a look. Looking at the homepage here, you can see a general layout. We got navigation up here, a hero image, a profile picture, a little blurb about me. Uh, scroll down, you can see recent projects that I'm working on or that I've already completed. And at the very bottom, you can sign up for the newsletter. This is going to be a very important part of the website that we're going to be building. If we come all the way up here, we can go over to case studies. It's a very similar layout. We have a navigation hero image. Scroll down a little bit and you can see the case studies here where we've got some imagery on one side and a little information about the project or the case study on the other side. Uh, if you scroll down, you just see they alternate back and forth. And the, the newsletter is on the bottom again in the footer. If you click on a case study, this is pretty much what it's going to look like. Uh, navigation, hero image. If you don't like reading in the future, what I will be doing is making videos for the case studies. So you can just click on it and watch the video instead of going down and reading all of the case study. For now, this is what the case study is starting to look like at the very top. I have not finished designing it. So we're going to be working on the case studies towards the end of this series, but um, all the rest of this is just going to go down in here. If we come over here to the blog, this is what the blog is going to look like. Same layout up at the top. You're going to have a featured blog post here. And this is just a layout of all of the blog posts going all the way down. And then again, in the footer, we have our newsletter. If you click on a blog post, you'll be able to see the general layout of what it's going to look like. We're going to have a little author card right here. A nice drop cap over here. This is what all of the body text will look like. Any images are going to fit within the same column. Any videos are also going to fit within the same column. At the bottom, I haven't designed it just yet, but we're going to have some share icons to share it to Facebook or Twitter. Um, and then we can select another post down at the bottom that we might want to read. And then again, we have the newsletter. All right, guys, that's going to be it for the introduction. Let's jump into the next video and get started with setting up our project environment. <laughs> 